Hi guys and welcome to Ye Hai Football. Today we are going to talk about another topic from the Premier League and we are going to discuss the transfer plans of Marco Silva with Everton. Now the season that will be starting in just a 15 days of time will be the first of Marco Silva with the Toffees and throughout the summer window we have witnessed that he was very clear about his transfer plans and that has given a lot of assurance to the fans that this season they may do well. Now this is the part one of my two videos and in the part one we are going to discuss Marco Silva's transfer plans but only the left back position and in the second part we'll be discussing about other areas on the field. So now let's start with the left back position. Now this position has some concern for Everton as their first choice left back Leighton Bates is the only left back they have. No doubt this man is a legend as from a decade he's playing for the Toffees. In 2007 he joined them and now it's 2018 and he's still going strong. And in this process, he has made 334 appearances and has scored 29 goals for the club. But now he's 33. It's a time to find an alternative and a player who can replace the legend on a long term basis. And there are three names who Marco Silva has shortlisted. And those three names are Diego Laxalt of Genoa, Luke Shaw of Manchester United and Lucas Dean of FC Barcelona. Diego Laxalt. Now this man has quite a contrasting story as before the World Cup no one was knowing who is Diego Laxal but after the World Cup now Laxal is one of the top names in the transfer market as plenty of Premier League sites are in the chase for this Uruguayan international who was heroic at the World Cup for his national side. Now we will have a look at the statistics when he played for Genoa last season in the Serie A team. Now, he made 31 appearances, created 23 chances, his passing accuracy was 72%, he is very strong and that is shown here, average duels one is 43%, defensively the man is strong and is capable to keep the backline calm and that is shown here, 1.0 interceptions per game, 3.0 tackles per game and he has made an average of 1.8 clearances per game. This was the first name of his shortlist, Diego Laxalt who was heroic at the World Cup for his national side Uruguay who did really well in the World Cup 2018 in Russia. Yeah, so now let's move on to the second name that is Luke Shaw of Man United. First of all, he was a second choice left back at Man United behind Ashley Young. He wasn't getting so many chances in the Premier League and so it is shown here he made only 11 appearances but though he made only 11 appearances his performance was marvelous. You will now have a look at his performances when he made 11 appearances created 9 chances which isn't an easy task for any player on the field passing accuracy was a magnificent 85% and he's strong and that is shown here our average duels won ratio is 53% and defensively the man is strong as is shown here 0.4 interceptions per game 1.6 tackles completed per game and he made an average of 1.7 clearances per game and so here we have completed two names from the short list of Marco Silva, Diego Laxalt of Genoa, Luke Shaw of Man United. Now let's move on to the third name, that is Lucas D. Again, he was a second choice left back at FC Barcelona behind Jordi Alba. And so he made 11 appearances, created a standard 5 chances, passing accuracy was really good, 87%, average duels won 51%, and interceptions per game 1.0. And defensively, the man is really strong as is shown here. 1.8 tackles completed per game. Clearances per game is 1.3. Now we know the statistics of all the three players in the shortlist of Marco Silva. First is Diego Laxalt of Genoa. Second is Luke Shaw of Man United. Third is Lucas D of FC Barcelona. So let's see out of these three, which signing can Marco Silva secure as soon as possible as in just a 15 days of time, the new Premier League season will be starting. Now, what I think for which player Everton should go for, if we talk about these three players. Now, no one out of these three we can say as a proven Premier League player. Because in Premier League, so many players are in the world, in the Bundesliga, in different leagues in the world, are so good. But as soon as they come in the Premier League because of their heroic performances in their Initially, they don't perform very well because Premier League needs more athleticism, more physicality, more stamina. And that is what Premier League is all about. So, out of these three, no one has played very much in the Premier League. Yeah, Diego Laxalt is a very strong player, can perform well, everyone knows. But again, he has proved heroic in the World Cup and plays well for Genoa. Now, Luke Shaw, he is a Premier League player. 
he has played for Man United. But still, making 11 appearances and then giving a good performance is a very good thing. But who can make sure that when he will make 38 appearances, probably for Everton in the new season, how well he will perform? Will he keep the same level of physicality in the new season? The third name, Lucas Dean of FC Barcelona. Again, 11 appearances. And I've seen, and many people have seen playing him for Roma where he was a very capable player. He was a very big asset for Roma while going forward defensively he was very strong but as soon as he came to Barcelona he didn't play a lot and he was sitting continuously on the bench so that's why I think that should they go for a proven Premier League left back and the only name which I think is really good for Everton is Aaron Cresswell of West Ham United now this man has a lot of capability his crosses inside the box are very good defensively the man is strong while going forward, he's very clinical. He is a master of set pieces, no doubt. And when he missed the World Cup with England, I was thoroughly shocked that how I haven't seen his name in the 23-man squad selected by Gareth Southgate. This, this is the first name which I think Everton should do, go for as he is a proven Premier League left-back, plays week in, week out, is a strong player. And second name which I think is also a brilliant and a player who knows everything about the life in the Premier League is Ryan Bertrand of Southampton. Again, a player who missed on the World Cup and I was again shocked to not see his name in the 23-man squad. He was struggling with Southampton last season in the relegation battle, but his performances proved heroic in their battle to survive and to stay in the Premier League for another season. And that's what kept them in the Premier League and his performances helped them a lot. This man also has a lot of capability going forward and has a lot of quality to prove something in the Premier League. So with that, the part one video is completed. Let's see, can Marco Silva secure the signing of any of the one player out of the three in his shortlist? Or what I think is he should go for Aaron Tresswell or for Ryan Burton. Out of these two, if anyone he can get, that will be some signing because he will secure a signing of proven Premier League player. And that's what a club like Everton need right now. Now, with that, I say you thank you guys. I hope you have enjoyed my video. Wait for the part second in which we are going to discuss about other areas on the field. And subscribe to my channel, share my videos and goodbye.